Hey, I haven't um, made a video in a while, but um, I'm in the airport in Mexico City right now. Um, I have an eight-hour layover before I head to um, the Yucatan. And I just um, know that some, like I'm on the precipice of some big change, which um, I know it's not just about me, but the world. Um, so I just thought it would be good to kind of kind of check in before like this flood I feel is coming. Um, so like <laughs> haven't made a video in a while because um, I've just been going through a process and not knowing um, what to say or how to talk about it. Um, I recently had sex, uh, first time I've had sex um, in a while since my last relationship. And um, I didn't really expect to do that until um, I, I don't know, I think I kind of thought that the next time I had sex would be like with the one or at least, you know, um, in some kind of space where it was like really healing or I don't know, sacred. Um, and of course it was in its way, but um, yeah, so that it brought up a lot of stuff. Um, and um, what I know for sure right now is, um, first of all, it came to me that like, I, I finally just asked my vagina like what she wanted me to call her because I don't like the word vagina. I say yoni, but it doesn't really ring. Pussy feels good when I'm like, wanting to get turned on, but um, doesn't always feel right, just in regular conversation. And anyway, it came up that she um, she said she wanted to be called an animal, and I'm like, you want me to call you animal? And But it was an animal, and it was a dragon. So what I know for sure is that my dragon, she wants, um, she, I asked, because I'm like, do you want me to like get to know you myself first? Like, because I, I just know that, you know, through all the um, kind of emotional release I've been having and coming home and more home, more at home with myself. Um, uh, yeah, it's like she's waking up and it's like there's a lot more to be discovered and so I'm like, is it right for me to do it? Because I don't want to, like, you know, rely on a man or, like, be waiting for that or give my power away and whatnot. And then I even thought, like, maybe maybe a woman, you know, like, maybe I'd feel comfortable with a, with a woman who really, like, knew her shit and I would feel safe because she was a woman. And But I asked my dragon and she said she wants a man. And, um, but the man is... He's got to be like, like masterful, like love the dance, um, know how to bring my dragon out and, you know, share the treasure that she's been guarding and, um, you know, allow the fire to come through without, uh, feeling like enough trust in, that, that I could let her fire, my fire, totally express itself and not feel like it would just fucking burn the other person up or myself, you know, or maybe, yeah, just, just let, let that happen. And what's interesting is, so the third story I've been working on, which at first I thought was about like this queen in this land of winter and she like runs into this flowering tree and the flowering tree fills her and whatever. Anyway, it changed and it's actually, um, it's about a, a woman and then a, who has the 
power of fire in her hands, and then this dragon that terrorizes this world. And um, she realizes that the dragon is, is her. And, uh, and when she, but before she realizes that she, you know, gathers up all her, her power, doesn't know if she can overtake the dragon. And, um, and when she faces it and she tries, something else happens. And, you know, I was thinking of the dragon, obviously, as like this shadow. Um, man, I look tired, because I am. Um, the shadow and, uh, yeah, all the, all the repressed anger and sadness. Um, but when my, when my dragon said she wanted to be called that, I was like, oh shit, you know? It's not just, it's not just negative emotions. It's, it's this power that's wild. And it's like too big for this world, you know? But not anymore. It's too big for the way the world has been, the way that most people play in this world. But it's time. Right? The whole thing that's happening right now is like the human be being able to contain and express the divine within us more fully. And that sexual life force energy is it, right? It's what's been repressed. And um, so anyway, this whole series was about like leading up to this show that, you know, would be tomorrow night, I think, October 15th. And um, I still don't know what's gonna happen there, um, but I'm at the place where I know I'm meant to be. And, um, and and that's where I'm at, and I don't really care about the rest. Um, there was a, like, there was, I was kind of stressing myself out, like, you know, the story didn't happen the way that I thought, and like, and then, you know, still the money stuff, like things aren't happening, but I was in the temple and speaking to each of the goddesses in each of their temples in each of the rooms. And this message over and over was like, you are supported. Like the first, cause I'm like, what action steps do I need to take? Like, um, yeah, to, to support myself, to get this business to work, to complete the story. And, and every message was like, the first thing you need to do is know you're supported. How do you do that? Be in your body. You know, know that that's enough. Breathe, dance, do Tai Chi. Like, and um, I was like, well, what do I do when I forget? Like, how do I stay aligned? How do I stay in that place of trust? And um, Mother Mary said, yeah keep coming to us, like keep visiting the temple and live here. And uh, so when I get back from Mexico, I'm, I'm just going to stay in the temple and not go back and forth. Even when I rent it out, I'm going to plan on just being like, hey, I'm in the room upstairs. Like, I'm not going to bother you. But and also, I think it will force me, I'm not force me, but like to to be inspired to actually interact with people. And, um, you know, I've been saying, well, like, I want to give people privacy because I know that's what I'd want. If I'm renting a space, I'd want, I wouldn't want to interact with the host really. But that might be a projection because like, I kind of avoid interacting with people a lot. Um, and anyway, like, I can should do whatever I want with this space. And the other day I was sweeping, I was sweeping um, and the deck and just realizing how much like I've been enjoying just taking care of this home. Uh, whereas before it was always a chore, you know, kind of like I think what I'm learning to, kind of relationship I'm learning to have with my body. But I was sweeping and it just occurred to me, like I've been thinking about a lot of fairy tales lately, um, the whole Cinderella story and like, okay, yeah, I'm like Cinderella sweeping and you know what, for the first time in my life, I don't, I don't care about going to the ball, like I really... I was really happy just sweeping and being home and, and this message of just like, um, there's nothing to run away from, you know? It's all here and um, white buffalo woman, you know, so after all, all these other goddesses in the temple were telling me, 
that I'm already supported, that everyone I'm meant to serve is already there. I don't need to do anything except just like be in my power and being in my power means being in my body. Then White Buffalo Woman, I, I said, you know, but I feel behind and, you know, and she said, you are behind. And I was like, oh shit, like I am? Actually, no, it was Hathor. I was like, so what do I do? And she said, you are behind and to catch up, you need to slow down, slow down and be still. So it's like, yeah, all this like mental running and, and my physical, like um, just that endless seeking, the hunger, you know, I, it has its place, but like to really, to really move forward, to really jump, you know, into, into that pool, into that, uh, to transform, you know, in my story, the, the woman, the fire woman um, sees the dragon in the ocean uh, and then, you know, she realizes it's, it's her reflection and then she drowns herself. She jumps in the ocean to drown herself because she realizes she's been this dragon that's been terrorizing the world. Um, so that to be in that place where it's like there's no more running and you kind of like die to yourself. Um, anyway, so yep, I'm excited to see what happens. Um, oh, and so apparently I was I heard a couple like last year something that my my Mars in Sagittarius is is at the exact degree of something called the galactic center, which is like some powerful like black hole thing in the universe. And um, the astrologer, uh, Kay Pacha, who is going to be one of the facilitators at this thing I'm going to in Mer Merida, he was talking about that today, um, the galactic center and the attractor, the great attractor. So excited to learn more about that. Um, bye.